Hi, and welcome back to the Future Lore channel. Today we're talking about Tesla and its new mega factory in Berlin. You're certainly a fan of Tesla cars like most people, so if you may be living in Europe, this will be a great opportunity to buy a new Tesla car in a short time. So stay with us and find out if this mega factory is ready for work. Before the video starts, like and subscribe to our channel. Press the notification button so you don't miss more videos like this. Are you ready to watch? Here we go. The world's richest man is flying to the German capital to inaugurate Tesla's first manufacturing location in Europe. The company claims it's the most advanced, sustainable, and efficient facility yet. The $5 billion Berlin Gigafactory will produce hundreds of thousands of Model Y vehicles and millions of batteries, according to Tesla. The company has four fully operational facilities, three in the U.S. and one in China. The Berlin plant was meant to be ready last year, but the opening was delayed after Tesla added a battery facility to its building plans. While Tesla finished the construction at the Grünheide site at its own risk on the interim, the final permits came through in early March. When the plan was greenlit, just 2,600 of the 12,000 vacancies were filled. There are still hundreds of jobs up for grabs, but let's find out more details about this Gigafactory. Initial discussion of a Tesla Gigafactory in Europe occurred as early as 2015. The factory was then thought to be a combined electric battery manufacturing facility and automobile factory. In 2016, Tesla was anticipating announcing the factory in 2017. The factory had earlier been occasionally referred to as Gigafactory 2 before the 22nd of February 2017, when Tesla began to refer to the Solar City Gigafactory in Buffalo, New York as Gigafactory 2. By 2017, the Europe Gigafactory was expected to be named either Gigafactory 4 or 5. In November 2019, it became Gigafactory 4 and then Giga Berlin. More than 10 European countries had campaigned to have the factory located within the jurisdictions. The campus is 35 kilometers or 20 miles southeast of central Berlin on the berlin rohrklaw Railway, which forms the north border of the site between Erkner Station and Fangschluss Railway Station, and the A10 motorway, which forms the western border. Extending north from the one square kilometer GVZ Freienbrink Logistics Center, the area was an undeveloped three square kilometer greenfield land site designated industrial zone. Much larger pine plantations and landscape scale conservation surround Freienbrink, a state-owned man-made forest of low quality monoculture harvest-ready planted pine trees occupied the site and authorities expected Tesla to mitigate felling by planting new trees of more diverse variety. 160 hectares of the plantation were cleared for the factory, and by 2022, 265 hectares of new multiple species forest have been planted elsewhere. The pine plantation is planned to be upgraded with more species. There was intense competition among European countries to host the Gigafactory because of its expected significant contribution to the economy. The sprawling factory, which is expected to be one of the largest manufacturing lines in Europe, will need a considerable number of employees despite many highly automated processes. There's also a concerted effort in the region to encourage battery manufacturing since it is viewed as a strategic economic measure due to an increase in global transition towards renewable energy. A 2018 report revealed, for instance, that the world would need at least 25 more gigafactories by 2025. The projected uptick in demand for electric cars and in-home power storage systems is causing concern about a European fuel dependency on Asia, which as of early 2018 accounted for 88% of global battery manufacturing capacity. By 2018, European governments were providing subsidies and incentives to companies like Tesla, as well as local battery manufacturing startups like Northvolt and Terra E to build production infrastructure within its borders. On November 12, 2019, the selection of the Brandenburg location for the Gigafactory 4 facility was officially announced by Tesla CEO Elon Musk at the Das Goldene Lenkrad Award Show held in Berlin. Construction of the facility was then planned to begin in early 2020, with a proposed start of production in late 2021. Musk also announced the establishment of a new design and development center in nearby Berlin. By February 2020, environmental challenges had been cleared in court decisions which allowed vegetation on the site to begin being cleared. Construction work had begun in May 2020, with initial foundation work underway, the setup of the first four construction cranes, and the beginning of the arrival of trainloads of building materials, including pillars and beams. Musk has stated that construction will come together at an impossible-seeming speed 
due to the use of prefabricated construction techniques. Finally, local authorities gave Tesla the final go-ahead on March 4, 2022 to begin production at Gigafactory Berlin, provided it met several conditions on issues including water use and air pollution control. Mind you, Elon Musk has warned that ramping up production will take longer than the two years it took to build the plant. JP Morgan forecasts that the factory would build around 54,000 cars in 2022, ramping up to 280,000 in 2023, and 500,000 by 2025. That's quite a lot of cars, right? Are you looking forward to this factory? If you live in Europe and still don't have an electric car, now's the right time to order it from Tesla. How do you feel about all this? It's pretty amazing, right? Well, feel free to share your opinion with us. There's a comment section below, so write your comments there and we'll be happy to read them because we'd like to know your opinion. If you have not by now, then like and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell to be notified when a new video is ready for watching. Hope you enjoyed today. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.